The royal family that rules Saudi Arabia is estimated to be worth $1.4 trillion, which, believe it or not, is 16 times greater than the British royal family. The massive oil deposits discovered 75 years ago, which changed the country's economy and made the House of Saudi the richest family on Earth, provide the majority of the income for the reigning monarchy. Nearly 15,000 members of the royal family are said to own $1.4 trillion in fortune and reside in opulent palaces across the globe. In this video, we're going to be talking about the trillionaire lifestyle of King Salman, the head of the Saudi royal family. So stay tuned to the end, like this video, and subscribe to the channel to become an official part of the family. The Jaw-Dropping Net Worth as one of the richest families in the world, the Saudi royal family is renowned for living at large. The House of Saud has a fascinating history that's worth exploring in depth, but their trillionaire lifestyle is just as, if not more, fascinating to learn about in the midst of their public and private scandals. While King Salman currently holds the throne, anyone who understands how it works in the Saudi royalty is aware that Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the king's son, heir apparent, and current prime minister actually holds the throne in all but name. Him, along with his dad King Salman, are renowned for enjoying finer things in life, despite all the criticism that goes their way. The estimated riches of the Saudi royal family would astound anyone who thought the British royal family's net worth of $88 billion was noteworthy. The House of Saud is reportedly valued at $1.4 trillion, which is, once again, over 16 times more than it is believed to be the net wealth of the British royal family. The Saudi royal family is notoriously secretive when it comes to divulging the full extent of their finances, so it's challenging to determine precisely numbers for them. But it's well known that oil reserves accumulated during King Abdul Aziz's reign were the source of the first royal wealth. King Salman, the reigning monarch, is said to be worth $17 billion. His son, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, is also known for his taste of making exceedingly opulent purchases. Like father, like son, huh? When questioned about his tastes on an American show, the prince reportedly said he'd like to keep his personal life private, which includes his wealth and spending. I donate a portion of my personal money to charity. At least 51% of my money goes to people and 49% goes to myself. Ha, ah, yes, that makes it so much better. Lux lifestyle calls for big purchases. It's not surprising that the Saudi royal family leads extremely luxurious lives given their abundance of cash. Still, some have been taken aback by some of their more expensive purchases. For instance, the Wall Street Journal reported in 2017 they paid $450.3 million for Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi. That's right, $450.3 million for a single painting. Maybe it was just an impulse buy. Among all the luxury yachts owned by the royal family, the newest addition is a luxurious 440-foot boat that costs an astounding $494 million and claimed to include not one, but two pools and a helipad. But that's just on the ground. King Salman enjoys a luxurious lifestyle as the owner of one of the priciest private jets in the world. Because of its sheer size and the fact that it can accommodate the king's entourage and cabinet ministers whenever they travel, his aircraft has been termed a flying palace. Complete with king-size beds fit for the king, the $500 million airplane makes the king feel at home. Oh, and get this, if that wasn't luxurious enough, King Salman's seat aboard the aircraft is entirely covered in gold. Magnificent Holidays Summer vacations are the ideal time to spend with friends and family, but inviting 1,000 of your closest friends and family may be a little excessive, no? King Salman traveled to the south of France in 2015 for a three-week vacation, but the monarch is not your typical traveler. Locals were outraged when the public beach was shut down so he could unwind privately with a 300-meter exclusion zone around his property. What then did the king have on his holiday to-do list? King Salman is a fan of palatial living, which should come as no surprise given that he's the leader of one of the wealthiest royal families in the world. His holiday via in Valorous France spans for several hundred meters along the magnificent coast while being tucked away among the cliffs of the French Riviera. The Chateau de l'Horizon was built in 1932 by the architect Barry Dirks and has welcomed a number of notable visitors, including Winston Churchill, Rita Hayworth, and Marilyn Monroe. 
fresh flowers were planted, new windows were put in, and there are even rumors of having a throne on the balcony where the king could sit and take in the unobstructed views. The king's family and friends were driven about the area to popular tourist attractions and beaches in at least 400 luxury vehicles with tinted windows. So while King Salman's inner circle stayed at his oceanfront estate and about 700 additional people stayed in luxury hotels in Cannes, the king's sizable party of family, staff, and military officials all resided along the French coast. Just your average summer holiday, right? The Many Royal Palaces The best part about being a trillionaire is having so many options. Don't feel like staying in palace number one today? Okay, let's head to palace number nine then. King Salman is no short of royal abodes. First is his formal house, office, and location of the royal court, Al Yamama Palace. The palace is the main location for the kingdom's senior guests to be received and serves as the center for drafting royal decrees. It's situated in the western suburbs of Riyadh. Italian marble floors and elaborately carved ceiling and wall panels add to the palace's opulent feel. Weekly sessions of the government are presided over by King Salman, who also frequently receives VIP visitors and foreign dignitaries at the palace. The exquisite contemporary structure's sparse facade pays homage to traditional Arabic architecture with geometric elements and pointed arched windows. Inside, the ornate space is decorated with gold accents, rich rugs, exquisite antiques, and stunning chandeliers. And then there's the Al Ajwa Palace, which is quite humble for Saudi royal standards. The palace features magnificent hand-carved furniture and wall decorations, mosaic floors, and delicate embellishments showcasing the best of Saudi craftsmanship. The structure displays the new king's more straightforward tastes as well as his love of regional architectural and decorative styles. King Salman is so wealthy that he has a number of extra palaces where he can go to relax and host visitors. One such residence is the relatively new Urga Palace, which is situated in the heart of Riyadh. President Obama visited the palace shortly after the Saudi monarch took the throne in 2015, and while there, he offered his condolences for the passing of the late Saudi Arabian king, Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Urga Palace is showy, similar to Al Yamama, with an excessive amount of gilding, luxurious silk carpets, and expensive Italian marble. The king hosted a lavish dinner for President Obama and his entourage to honor, with everything from rice, lobster, lamb, and other delicacies. And oh, along with gold chairs, people also noticed gold-plated Kleenex dispensers. Now that's something a trillionaire would do. And now you can experience a glimpse of Saudi royal living too. Visitors to Saudi Arabia will soon be able to experience a slice of what royal life was like in the country by staying at one of the numerous old palaces that are being turned into luxurious hotels. The new hotel company, Boutique Corp, introduced by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, has plans to convert some of the most notable palaces in the kingdom into luxury hotels that tell a tale of legacy and hospitality. Traveling in Style Forget all that you've learned about traveling smart, the Saudi royal family does the exact opposite. With literal tons of luggage that require extra planes to golden escalators instead of plain old stairs to get them on board, this family travels like you wouldn't believe. Travel light? What's that? The king once traveled with 459 metric tons of luggage. The average African elephant is said to weigh between 2.5 and 7 US tons. For anyone having trouble visualizing how that compares to your more conventional 40 pound luggage allowance. So take your bulkiest suitcase and swap it out for 200 of the largest land creatures on the planet. And don't even worry about paying an excess baggage fee. Are you wondering what he carries? Well, his rather large suitcase contained two Mercedes-Benz S600s, as well as two freestanding electric elevators, which were the more unusual items. Even if using an elevator while traveling might seem strange, the trillionaire leader has done it many times in the past. Remember his French vacation in 2015? The king actually installed an elevator on a French beach, which sparked public outcry along with the closure of the beach. When you've got a Boeing 747 as your private jet, you've pretty much made it in life. King Salman went 10 steps ahead and got it fully customized, and of course, everything had to be gold. What's a trillionaire without a super yacht? Tuk is a custom-built motor yacht with an all-leak deck that's 78.47 meters long. Michael Leach Design created both her external and interior designs, and the luxurious boat has enough space for a crew of 21 and 30 guests. 
It's the king's private yacht, along with the yacht Al Salama. Al Salama has a crew of 94 and can accommodate up to 40 guests in 22 cabins and has enough for 56 more employees, bringing the entire count up to 150. The floor area of the motorboat is a whopping 12,000 square meters, and you wouldn't believe the things that are on it. She has a car garage, three hospitals, one for the owners, one for visitors, and one for the crew, duh, as well as a barber shop. It's got five galleries, the main gallery, a bakery, a staff gallery, an owner's diet gallery, and an Arab gallery, and of course, there's also a secretary's office on board. There's also a dedicated dressing room for artists, you know, just because. The super yacht Al Salama was put up for sale in 2013 with a 280 million US dollar asking price. Later, she was taken off the list, and we learned that she'd been given as a gift to Bahrain's crown prince. He's got a knack for weird gifts. In 2017, the Saudi Arabian royal family gave former US President Donald Trump a special gift, but then reports indicated that the American leader was duped by the bogus gifts. Three robes that looked like they were made from white tigers and cheetahs were among the 82 presents that Trump got from the Saudi king during his visit to the country in May of last year. Turns out the gifts were colored to imitate animal fur patterns after careful review of a Freedom of Information Act revelation. Other expensive gifts from the Saudis were three swords and three daggers. Yep, fake furs weren't the only pricey items presented by the Saudis. The Department of the Interior was also looking into one of the dagger's handles because it appeared to possibly contain a tooth or bone of some type, maybe taken from an elephant tusk. Jared Kushner, the son-in-law of President Trump, wasn't sent back empty-handed either, as the Saudi monarch gave him two swords and a dagger, totaling about $48,000. And on that note, we'll wrap up today's video. What are your thoughts on King Salman's lavish lifestyle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.